Hi everyone, welcome to Jom Study Law channel. Hope you are doing very well. So in this session, we will go through one by one exam question associated with the answers. Let's begin with 2021 winter exam multiple questions. So the exam paper part one consists of 20 multiple choice questions. Let's begin. All living things can remove toxic materials and other substances that are in excess of refinement. What is this process called? If you look at the A, ejection, ejection is the removal of undigested food materials on reaching the end of small intestine. If B, excretion meaning that all organisms produce unwanted or toxic waste as a result of their metabolic reaction. And nutrition meaning that organisms take substances from their environment and use for energy, growth and development. And respiration meaning that chemical reaction in cells that break up nutrient molecule and release energy for metabolism. The answer for this number one is excretion, meaning that all organisms produce unwanted or toxic waste as a small as a result of their metabolic reaction. Two animals have an identical sequence of amino acids in one of the proteins found in their cell. What does this indicate about these animals? Main components of the animal cells is one of it that help the cells to make right protein in nucleus. A nucleus is where the genetic informs information is stored. Information that related to genetic is kept in chromosome, which are inherited from organism parents. And the chromosome are made of DNA. So the nearest answer for this question is they share and, and center. Number three. The diagram show an anthropod, pedipod. So as you know that artery is, pedipod is part of the anthropod arsenal. So these are the, where they have the characteristic with four pairs of jointed legs, which breathe through gills called book lung. So the answer for this is arsenics. Which features do animal cells share with the plant cells? If you can see, chloroplast is only contained, is only contained in the plant cells, which is also the main component of the plant cells. Okay, so the does not features does not exist in the animal. And chloroplasm or cytoplasm exists in the animal cells as well as the plant cells. And also, nucleus exists in the animal cells and the plant cells. So, the answer for question number four is C. The diagram shows some cells, which is consists of cilia, cytoplasm and nucleus. If you can see, where are these cells found? Whether it's in elementary tunnel, blood, bronchus, or the plant's root. The answer is C. Which statements about diffusion is correct? Diffusion is a net passive movement of molecules or particles from regions 
of higher concentration to region of lower concentration. So the answer for this is the process which involves the random movements of particles. Number seven. The diagram, the diagram shows the uptake of mineral ions by root hair cells. What? Which type of molecule is labeled X in the diagram? So, cell membrane, you can see, is a bottom top of the cell membrane. Cell membranes, also known as a plasma membrane, are the cell constituents of water soluble, protein, carbohydrate, and other substances which is involved in cellular metabolism. So the nearest answer for this is the protein. The basis on one of the strands of a DNA molecule have the sequence show as A18CTG. So which is the corresponding sequence of basis on the other strand? So the answer for this is D. PPA GAC. In the photosynthesis experiment, a plant is left in bright sunlight for several hours. A leaf is then removed from the plant and tested for starch using iodine solution. So the diagram shows the leaf from the plant that was used in the experiment. You can see. In the white area is uh, the area where does not consist of chlorophyll. What is the, actually the chlorophyll function? The chlorophyll function is used for the process of photosynthesis. And it makes the leaf become green. If you can see, this is the green area of the leaf. The green area of the leaf is actually uh, consists of chlorophyll, which is responsible in the process of photosynthesis. So, as you know that reagent solution from our previous topic, whenever we use iodine in the plant, is to test the presence of starch in the plant. So. In this example, they use starch, okay? They're using iodine solution to test for the starch. So as you know that starch is byproduct of photosynthesis. When there is a presence of starch in the iodine solution, it will turn into blue black. So the answer for this, which diagram show the result of the experiment? So the answer will be C. Because iodine solution will turn the chlorophyll or the existence of the green area or the existence of the chlorophyll or the presence of chlorophyll to become blue black. And the white area is still is iodine solution stay as a brown. Number 10, an experiment was carried out to investigate the effect of pH on enzyme action. The graph shows the result where on the x-axis is the pH and the y-axis is the rate of reaction. So the answer of for these questions are A. So in this diagram is actually is to show how pH affect the enzyme activity? Y is the rate of the reaction and S is the pH. 11. 
four test tubes were set up as shown in the diagram, in which test tube is the starch digested most quickly. You can see in, if A is where water bath at 15 Celsius and the star solution and amylase. B, star solution and boil amylase with the current presence of water bath at 15 the Celsius. Whereas C is at the presence of water bath at 35 Celsius and star solution and amylase means that the effect of temperature on digestion of starch by amylase. As a result, starch amylase reaction is affected by rising of temperature. So if you can see, the C is the answer for the, for the question. Two similar leaves are set up in the test tube as shown. One is exposed to the light while the other is kept in the dark. So in this case, they are using hydrogen carbonate indicator solution. So the function of hydrogen carbonate indicator solution is can detect the increases or decreases in carbon dioxide concentration. If you can see this on the left hand side, the green leaf is are set up in the test tube. Whereas in the bright light, the rate of photosynthesis is greater. So the leaf takes in carbon dioxide from the air in the test tube. And this reduces carbon dioxide inside the test tube. Therefore, the color of hydrogen carbonate solution changes from orange to purple. And if you can see from the right hand side, where the green leaf is covered with the black pepper. Black pepper is prevent light entering the test tube, where the rate of respiration is greater than the rate, the rate of photosynthesis. So the leaf gives out carbon dioxide, which dissolve hydrogen carbonate indicator solution to change the color from orange to yellow. So the answer for this uh, experiment will be as a B, where um, the increases the increases in the carbon dioxide will changes the indicator to yellow, and the decreases in carbon dioxide changes change the hydrogen carbon carbon indicator solutions to purple. Number 13, the diagram shows the surface view of part of the epidemics of a leaf. Okay, by theory, we already studied that each stoma surrounded by a pair of sausage shape is called gut cells. So in this question, we ask you how many gut cells are present? So we can see that there is a total of three types of leaf. So, each stoma surrounded by pair of sausage stage, she is called gut cells, which can open and close the wound, which contain chloroplasts. A leaf consists of two gut cells. If it consists of about three leaves, so the total number of the gut cells are present in these situations is about six. Question number 14. The diagram show part of the elementary canal and associated organs where the most water absorption take place. If you can see the diagram in this, okay, the answer for this is C. Okay, what is a B? The answer is a B. D is actually represent stomach. C is actually represent colon. And A is actually a pancreas. A is actually a pancreas, and this is duodenum, and this is ileum. So B is ileum. So the combinations of duodenum and ileum is called small intestine. 
So where does the most water absorption take place? The answer is B, ileum. The wall of small intestine absorb water and digested nutrient into your bloodstream. The diagram shows a large food molecule changing, changing into smaller molecule. What is the process next? We know that ingestion, food is taken into elementary can canal and digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller pieces without chemical change to the food molecule. So the answer will be C, digestion. 16, the diagram show a newly planted seedling and the same seedling a few hours after being planted. If you can see from the left hand side, seedling when planted. And if you can see from the right hand side, seedling a few hours after planting. What is the correct explanation for the change in the appearance of the leaf? If you can see, the leaf on the left hand side is more healthier. The reason being is transpiration is faster than water in uptake by root hair. So cell have become flaccid. The answer for this is A. Translocation is the movement of sucrose and amino acid in the foliar tissue of a plant from source to seed. Which organ can act as a source? So the answer for this is a storage root. Which component of blood produce antibodies? Component of blood responsible for producing antibodies is lymphocyte. The answer is A. Where lymphocyte, one of the main type of immune cells, which divided into B and T cells. B lymphocyte produce antibodies, which is protein gamma globulins. And the question number 19 is, what do shunt vessels connect? If you can see from this diagram, this is a shunt vessel. This is a venous. This is a triolis. So the answer for this, this is the blood flow to the heart. This is the blood flow to the heart. And precapillaries, spinster from flow regulation. Precapillaries in direct contact with tissues. So from this, we know the answer is B, as well as to venous. Question number 20, which graph show how the pressure inside the lung changes when taking one breath in? Inspiration in this context is a breathing in. And during inspiration, the diaphragm and the inspiratory intercostal muscle actively contract and leading to the expansion of the thorax and the intrapleural pressure you can see which is usually minus 4 mm hg at rest become more sub atmospheric or more negative so the most suitable in this explanation is, the answer is B. So with that being said, I would like to end this presentation. So if you find the explanations is more effective and straight to the to the answer, please subscribe and like the channel. So there will be a part two for this 2021 winter question. Thank you very much.